we can take our basic floor plan and turn it into a colored floor plan and create a bunch of different styles. These colored versions keep the original shape of the floor plan, but with recent advances in the tools, we can actually change just individual parts of the plan itself. Say for example, this kitchen top just here without having to redo the entire floor plan. And it's not just 2D plans. We can take this isometric 3D view just here. We can also create stylized renders or even sketch style illustrations with different variations. And these are just a few of my favorite examples. And just even in these, I see so much potential for better presentation. Now to modify our floor plan, the tool we're using is Mid Journey. We'll just want to go to edit. Let's go ahead and just take a screenshot of our floor plan. We'll click our snapshot and drag it into the view and we'll go straight to the retexture. From here, just up the top, we'll want to give it a prompt. So basically we're describing what we want the image to look like with a little extra context as well. So for this one, realistic colored floor plan with timber floors, tile bathroom, and soft finishes. We'll want to go to this little settings dialog just here. This is going to impact how it generates our floor plan. Just so that you can replicate my settings, these are the settings that I'm currently using. So from here, we'll click out of the settings and we'll go to submit retexture. So essentially what it's doing on this right hand side just over here, it's starting to process these images. It typically generates four images, which are a bunch of different variations that we can select through. This is our third one, and this is our fourth one just here. So far, I don't mind this second one and this fourth one just here, but we don't have to settle for just these options. If we now click back on our original image, this is where we can go back to our settings and start making some adjustments. Let's say I turn on personalization. I'll click off the settings and we'll go resubmit texture. This has created a much more sketch style illustration. So let's go through our options, option number three and option number four. Now, if you wanna create your own profile so that it can stylize it to your tastes, if we now click on over to personalization, we can essentially craft a profile that will tailor the mid-gen images more to the style that you particularly like. My preference is a bit more of a sketch style. Now to create your own, all we need to do is go to create standard profile. It's going to give you two images to select from. Now, if you don't like either of the images, we can just go up to skip. And then from here, we can start selecting our preference. Between the two images, we do this around about 40 times and it starts to get an understanding of our preferences, which means it'll have a more consistent style when we're trying to create our own generations. Now, let's go back to our image. If we go back into edit, let's go ahead and select one of the images that we like. From here, down in the bottom left-hand corner, we can go upscale to gallery. Just up here, you'll notice a little number one. That means that it's upscaling one of our drawings. So if we click on here right now, we'll see now that it's actually going to take that image and upscale it so it's a higher quality. So if I click on this here now, it's a little bit blurry just because it's finishing up the process. And now that it's complete, if we click again, and if we click in again, we can see the level of the detail that the drawing has now that we've upscaled it. So from here, I'll hit escape. And so that I can actually now use this, I wanna to go to this right-hand side and I'll want to hit download image. From here, we'll go to our downloads and cut them, and then we'll paste it into our folder. From here, we could take it into any of our programs or even our drafting software and place it on a page. If there are areas that we want to change, say like this bench top just here, there's a crazy feature inside of Midjourney. If we go to edit, now in this edit tab, just on the left-hand side, the one that we ignored just before, if we now go to erase. So from here, I just want to paint over this area. So I essentially want to erase this bench just here. Once I've got that erased, from here we can just go submit edit. It's going to take the drawing and this time instead of generating the whole floor plan all over again, it's going to just generate that one section. So let's go through, check out our generations. Not quite what we're after. So if we go back to the drawing, it's still got that erased portion. From here I'll type in stone bench and we'll go submit edit. Hey, there we go. What we type in for our prompt can have a massive impact on the final result. Now for more subtle changes, I'll typically just drag and drop the floor plan into Photoshop. Let's say I wanna take out this extra little bidet that it added into this section here. If I hold in Alt and then I scroll my middle mouse button, it's going to let me zoom in. I can pan around by holding in the middle mouse button and from here, I'll just wanna go up to the marquee tool and I'm going to select over this toilet section just here. Then all I'd need to do is right click and go Content Aware Fill. From here, it gives us a little preview of what it's done over on the right hand side. For now, we'll just go apply and okay. From here, I'll just select over that little small segment again. I'll right click, content aware fill, and then we'll go okay. Now, if we click in that marquee once more, that'll deselect it. And then if we hold in alt and scroll back out, we have now removed the toilet from that area. 
Now with tools like these, we can create cool images, but we can also lose some of the necessary detail along the way. This is where a little bit of editing in something say like Photoshop can go a long way. From here, we can cut out part of the image and overlay on top of the original, merging the two to create a more aesthetic style. As you've seen, we can retexture pretty much anything we can snapshot a picture of from our floor plan all the way to our asymmetrics. Now the words that we use for the prompts can massively impact what the actual final image looks like. For this one here, I've used isometric real estate, floor plan, rendered high quality. Now I'd really encourage actually having a play with the aesthetics slider because it can make a massive difference to how your end image looks. Now to get access to the edit tool, currently they're only opening up access on the annual plan, but everything that you've seen today, I've been able to get done just by using the basic plan. With this full plan just here, I've actually got a full dedicated tutorial, step-by-step step, how to create this in Archicad, which I'll put a link to just over here. You can start with zero experience and finish up with a full plan just like this. It's one that you don't wanna miss, so go on and check it out.